So, here we have our Coke de Boeuf. So, this is a really special cut of meat. It's, uh, imagine a full rib of beef. Uh, this is a rib bone here, so a rib cage. And this is a, from the, along the back of the animal. So, there's plenty of fat content running through it, so it's really, really full of flavour. Um, but it's also really, really tender. So, it's not doing a huge amount of work. It's not like a leg muscle or a neck or a cheek that's working all the time. It's, uh, it's just supporting the animal really, so it's not doing a huge amount of work, thus it's a little bit more tender than uh, say a brunt or something like that. So by cooking it on the bone you're going to get a lot more flavour, it's going to stay really moist um, and then you're going to get this lovely sort of charred caramelisation on the bone as well, really good to pick up and gnaw it off. Um, if you can imagine it off the bone that would just be a really, really fat, thick ribeye steak, so if you were to cut it off the bone and cut it down the middle you'd probably have a couple of 8 or 9 ounce ribeye steaks which would perfectly fine, incredibly delicious, but by roasting it on the bone like this, you're going to just add a little bit of character to it, and I just think it looks pretty cold when you bring that out to the table, probably not raw, you probably cook it first, but um, it's just an impressive piece of meat. So we're going to sear it really hard in the oven, we're going to roast it for about no more than 20 minutes, maybe 25, and give it a really good rest. So we have our coat de boeuf here, this is about... 800 grams, something like that. You can get them anywhere up to a kilogram, or if you want them a bit smaller uh, for a snack, for example, you can get them to sort of six or 700 grams. So we're going to give it a good season. We've got a nice hot pan. We've got a preheated oven to about 190. Uh, really good seasoning again. Make sure all that beautiful salt goes on there. Good oil in the pan again, maybe a tablespoon, something like that. Steak goes in. We're also going to throw in some rosemary and thyme in there as well. It's just going to sort of perfume it a little bit. And then when we can, uh, any juices that are left over, we can use those in any sauce that we might be making. So we're just going to seal it really hard on all sides. When I flip it, I'll put some butter in as well and we'll, uh, we'll finish it in the oven. So we've got some great colour on there now. Really good. It's kind of like almost like bark of a tree. Really nice and crispy. A few knobs of butter in there. And you can really smell the herbs on this one. I'm just going to foam that butter up, get a bit on top. And we're going to put that in the oven for about 20 minutes and then uh, check it. So, our ribeye, our choke the bird has been in for about 25 minutes. Thermal temperature is about 55 degrees now. So just if you have a look at that, it's nice and springy in the middle. It's still quite forgiving. It's got that lovely caramelization on there. So we're just going to pull, pull that out now and we're just going to rest it in the pan for about seven or eight minutes. So just to finish our steak, this is our sublime butter. Now this is an amazing product. We've got all sorts of different flavors. Uh, this particular one is truffle, parmesan and black pepper. So they're a great ready-made sauce really. They're really rich, really powerfully flavoured butters. We also do a Bernays one which is absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to cut the end off. And while my steak's resting here, I'm just going to slice a little bit of this and melt it over the steak. So the truffle straight away, as soon as you open it, you can smell it. I'm just going to put that on there and let that melt over the steak. And we don't even need a sauce. So there. Try to keep the paper out of it. Uh, we don't even need a sauce really. So that's just going to slowly melt over our steak while it's resting. Uh, any juices we're going to pour back over the steak when we serve it. So here we have our coat de boeuf resting after it's rested. I'm just going to take the string off like so. And then just to carve it, just hold the bone like that. Just work your knife around the bone. And it comes straight off. That is amazing. You could give it to your dog, but I just have it myself. So then you've got this amazing piece of essentially roasted ribeye steak. I'm just going to carve it down there so you get this beautiful pink, not too rare. That fat's melted through it. I always think about eight nice big slices is about right on this. So that's going to go onto our board like so. You can see just that fat's melted beautifully through. It's nice and juicy. And then we've got
got our resting pan here with all our beautiful truffle butter and our herbs which we're just going to finish the steak by. So. And there you have a beautiful Coke de Boeuf with sublime truffle butter.